And meanwhile, behind the scenes. Put rum chop in there? Nope. What'd you put? It got stronger. It got stronger as it sat. Yep. Whew. Whew. That's the Patron. Yeah, I'm recording, right? <laughs> You'll probably edit it out. <laughs> All right, everyone. Hi. So we're going to be doing, well, I'm going to be doing um, my New Year's Eve look. I posted pictures all over Instagram, all over Twitter. Um, so the first thing I'm using is my go-to product. Um, you guys know that this is something I use on every, every, every single look. Um, it's NYX eyeshadow base in white. This thing is amazing for packing on the color, especially if it's a light, like a lighter color that doesn't really show. Um, if you put it on top of this, it just intensifies the color. So here I'm just applying it with a Tarte concealer brush, actually. Um, I feel like it's this, well, since I have nails, I can't really dip my finger into um, the jar. If I could, that, you know, it's easier that way. Um, but I'm using the Tarte concealer brush to actually help me just put it on um, and then you guys will see I'll blend it in a second all right so well as I'm doing this like I said um, next I'm gonna be blending it out so um, I always use my ring finger unless it's a spot that I really can't get with it um, you're lighter with your ring finger and you don't tug as much um, and all I'm doing is patting it I'm not really rubbing just kind of patting it in so that the cream blends in together um, here again, I'm using my ring finger to um, to blend it in. I noticed that I missed a spot, so I kind of added some more. It's based on how you do it. Um, I like this eyeshadow base for every skin tone, so it's kind of versatile. Um, I have no foundation on, just saying nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, so you guys know, for a harsher line, if you don't have brushes that help you, um, I'm showing you guys how I do it with um, tape to get that precise, precise line. All right, so I am taking the Coastal Scents um, Creative Me number two palette. Um, that silver color there doesn't really have a name on it um, or I think I threw the packaging out that might have said it but anyway um, I'm using these for the first time so um, I'm applying that to my lid and a little bit above the crease um, if you have hooded lids like I do you have to bring the eyeshadow higher because if not if you're looking straight at somebody you won't see that lower color so you want to bring it up um, past the crease a little bit um, so I'm kind of packing it in because I realized that it wasn't um, as dark as a color that I thought it was going to be on my lid. So you'll see me actually putting a whole bunch of it on there to build the color up. So the next thing, I'm taking my um, ring finger, I believe, or I'm using my middle finger. My middle finger. Um, I'm actually going to pack in that color. Like I said before, it wasn't coming up as strong as I wanted it to, and the brush was kind of sweeping it off instead of making it more intense. So just using my fingertip to actually pack it on. Um, the next thing, I'm taking my Urban Decay, I believe it's my, yep, Naked 2 palette. And I am taking that color, which I don't know the name of it right now on hand, um, and that I'm putting that above in the crease area to darken it up there.
So the next thing, just showing you guys what I used again. Um, I'm using this very matte, matte, matte black. Um, and I believe the brush I'm using is still the Urban Decay one that comes in there. That brush is amazing. It has one side um, with a blender and then the other side is a packed eyeshadow brush. So me, I kind of stipple it on because with black, you have to be careful with black. Black, if you put too much, um, there's no going back. Um, I mean, you can try to cover it up, but it's really hard not to and it, it'll mess up your look. So um, whenever you use a black, you want to go in lightly and then build up that color. So I'm just putting it on the outer crease and making kind of a V and going into my crease towards uh, my inner tear duct just to darken it a little bit more. Um, the next thing I'm using is a Sigma eyeshadow brush that I got in the Paris palette. Awesome palette by the way. Um, and I'm using the first color as a highlight above my um, the black that I added. One thing ladies, you do not want any harsh lines. Um, in your makeup except for where the tape is but all of that you have to make sure if you know exactly the line or you can draw the line where the eyeshadow colors stop and the next color begins it's not good so you want to make sure you're blending it completely as I'm doing here just going back and forth sweeping that color across just to get rid of that um, harsh line Alright, so the next thing, um, oh okay, so I guess I realized it wasn't dark enough after I did all the blending. Um, so I'm adding a little bit more black, um, almost like a cut crease, but not exactly. Um, I don't like really harsh cut creases, if you've ever seen those, so kind of blended it just to make my eyelid look a little bit um, bigger, because my eyelid is so tiny. Um, I'm also taking it pretty far in towards my nose um, because I'm going to do a lot of glitter on the lid so I blended back and forth to get that color more intense. Alright, now we're ready for the glitter. So this is Too Faced Glitter Glue is what I'm using. Um, and that's just an Eve Pearl palette um, that I got at the makeup show to put the glue on. Um, I'm taking, surprisingly, Ulta's eyeshadows, um, the eyeshadow brushes are synthetic. Well, that one is. And they're really easy for packing on color or anything like that. They're not the best for blending, but if you need to pack something on, definitely. Um, this is gr glitter, glitter, silver glitter, of course. Um, no particular brand. Um, I use craft glitter. It's, I mean, it's safe for me. It doesn't irritate my, um, my eyes at all. So I have tons of color. So I wanted to do a silver and black look. So as you can see, the first thing I'm doing is actually taking the glue and stippling it onto my eye. I don't want to rub, you don't want to rub it because if you rub then your eyeshadow is coming off with it and that's not the point here. Um, so with that same brush after I applied it I dipped it into the glitter um, and I feel like for me this is the best technique that's worked for me because um, if you do it with the, the glitter on the brush first on your lid then you dip that same brush into the glitter you can pack the glitter into um, the glue and it doesn't go all over your face versus getting a dry brush um, a couple little ones fell on my face which you'll see a, a little bit later um, but I feel like you have to actually pack this into the glue so that it stays all day and you guys know my makeup stayed all day even the next day And then what you want to do too, I just noticed that, is that um, I looked up a couple times to make sure that it looked right when I'm looking straight up, um, that there's no crooked lines of glitter or I'm missing any patches. So you always want to stop and look straight into the mirror and see where the glitter lands. 
Um, but yeah, you just keep packing on the glitter until you're satisfied of how high or where you want it. So here I'm just taking the uh, Royal Care Cosmetics Kabuki brush and just taking off any of the fallout glitter, um, any couple glitters that fell off. Um, and then I was fixing an error that I had. I'll just add some more. And the next thing, I have been loving this gel liner. I can't even talk enough about it. Um, it's the Wet n Wild um, Black Jet, I think it's Jet Black Gel Liner. The oddly, oddly enough, I found it at Five Below. Um, I bought a couple of them actually at Five Below. Um, I know that Walmart sells Wet n Wild. Walgreens sells Wet n Wild, but I'm not sure if they sell this specific one. It's in like a spaceship looking. It reminds me of a spaceship, but um, it's a great gel liner. Special. It's really, really thick, um, and it goes on really smooth. So if you need to, of course, with gel liners. Or if you're doing any cat line, any cat wing like this, you want to do it with gel first, um, and then you use a liquid liner over it um, to get that precise line. Um, John was asking me questions, so I don't know what was going on there. I think the, the main part, the crazy thing about this gel liner is that it actually went over the glitter without moving it at all. I really, I really love this this um, gel liner. There's, of course, there's high-end brands that are probably similar to it, like Smashbox has their black track. Um, I don't think Urban. Uh, Stila has one. A couple different brands that are high-end have it. But if the drugstore product works just as well, why not, you know? Alright, so I'm going to insert some pictures after this um, so you guys can see it. So that's pretty much um, all it was. I did take off the tape eventually, um, but that was the look. Um, of course, you didn't see on here the lashes or the mascara or eyeliner um, or my brows. I kind of just wanted to do the detail part of um, my eyes, and that was the look. So I hope you guys love it, hope you love it. Well, if you guys do it, definitely take a picture, let me know. Um, if I can find a cheaper glitter glue, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, but Happy New Year's! It's 2014, guys.